you, you um, but in the, in the beginning because uh, you're talking about IHOP okay if you mm -hmm. don't have this context we talk about IHOP and Mike Bickle and something that is happening here in Kansas City is now for 22 years 22 years 24 hours a day yeah incessant yes yeah no stopping it, it, I mean it's 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 incredible it's crazy it's crazy yeah and uh but in the in the beginning was there the Arpa Itasa? Yeah, so the Harp and Bowl for the first year. The first year? It was experimenting. Okay. Like literally we're in the prayer room. Can you explain a little bit like what yes. is? So Harp and Arpitasa. Bowl Harp and Bowl comes from Revelation chapter five, uh, verse eight, where you see harps and bowls. So the harp is worship and the bowls are the prayers of the saint saints and they ascend together before the throne okay and so that's what john saw and it's the prayers of the saints with worship coming together and so we just named the model harp a bowl okay um and so what it is basically is we have two different types of prayer meetings intercession okay and so where someone will pray a a apostolic prayer or pray a prayer of the bible so we love to pray the scriptures so you know ephesians chapter one it's the most easiest and simplest apostolic prayer to pray i pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him jesus the eyes of your heart would be open and so we would have someone sing and then excuse me someone pray and then we they would sing the prayer. The prayer, okay. And it was a revolutionary thought back then. Spontaneous worship was, it wasn't what we do today in no. many churches. It yeah. was new, and so literally Mike would say, "Okay, pray," and then he'd put his hand on a singer. Now sing it, <laughs> pray it. Really? Now sing it. That's what we. I mean, we started <laughs> very simple. It's awesome. And then we had another prayer meeting called Worship with the Word. Okay. And it's the same principle. There's a prayer leader that will highlight like Psalm 91. And you would pray a phrase of Psalm 91, and then the singers would sing around that phrase. And it's it actually to me is genius because it's 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 open meditation on the word of God. So a singer, I mean a, a prayer leader comes having thoughts on verses, and then you become to get a team of singing around scripture and the revelation that comes is incredible you go deep right? and the, it's like layers of the of those verses come come alive yeah. it's it's powerful I, i'm reading this book and the guy is talking about like how today we are addicted to novelty you know uh -huh. to something new we yes. went new the new thing the new the thing new. wow yeah and then we don't go deep in anything you know so i read this book and i don't want to read it again i just want to finish it because you, i have this new book or i watch this thing and i don't want to watch it again 100 i want this new thing you know? yeah and we don't go deep right yeah. but when you stay you know you know when i was talking to um uh, the guy daniel daniel who were with you singing yeah yep. Uh, and he was saying that they, they were like singing and studying one chapter of the Bible for like six months yes. a year in yes. F hop. Yep. So you go deep, right? And I mean, six months, some people are going, that's what? But there's gold, gold that the Holy Spirit has endorsed and that is in the word of yeah. God. And that's what the power of meditation, like to me, one of the guiding verse for me is the Joshua was told, meditate in the scriptures day and night and you will have success leading the people. And under his leadership, Israel never went astray. Hmm. It's, it's, an, it's a profound fact in his leadership. And I believe it was because he, he had courage and he didn't fear, and the word of God was in his life. Okay. And, and, uh, and so to Foundation. me, it's genius. Yeah. Yeah.